Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zed from me. I finally did something I really wanted to do for a long time and that was get a roof spoiler. So I'm doing this video a little bit different than I normally would where I walk you through my process of, you know, installing parts onto the cars. Um, the reason why I am doing it this way in this particular video is because I actually went through a lot of trouble in order to get this um, spoiler to fit. Now, as you guys know, this style of spoiler was originally built by Odinger, and uh, Odinger sells these spoilers now for around six, seven hundred dollars. I obviously could not afford that much, but I really liked the style of it. So I know some of you guys are going to be haters and say that um, if I didn't get the actual brand name one, why did I even get it at all? Well. Um, I really do like the style um, and I don't think that even when I did have the money for it I would have paid for the actual brand name one. Now I support everything they do but I just simply can't afford to pay like $700 for a roof spoiler. So basically these are copies um, made by a lot of Chinese companies um, and they make copies from the original Odinger spoiler so that their fitment is not always 100% like the Odinger spoiler would just get slapped on there, double-sided adhesive tape, and um, you're done. Now, with this particular spoiler that I got, this was um, made by this company in China. I don't know their name and usually they're unbranded at this point. Um, but basically, what I could tell right when I got this was that the fitment was going to be off. And the way that I could best explain it was that it felt kind of like they took the odor to spoiler and then they made a mold on top of it and then they just kind of tried to correct it as much as they could but it was never actually the same size dimensions exactly like the Odinger spoiler. Um, so when I got here the first thing that I did was I unwrapped it, I uh, opened up the box, it came in about a week and a half. Um, the seller said that it would actually come in about six to seven days but it actually took a little bit longer than that. Um, so I'm working with them in terms of the fitment as well as the, um, the time that it took to actually get here. Now coming from China, about 8 to 9 days is actually not a big deal, but um, I was expecting a little bit sooner so that I could get this video out for you guys in, uh, in a timely fashion. Now for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I was able to do this yesterday. Um, so I'm only start showing it today and uh, uploading a video because a lot of you guys requested it. Originally I wasn't even going to do a video. Um, simply because this uh, the spoiler is unbranded. I know there will be a lot of people hating on uh, me not getting the Odinger spoiler but um, for those of you who are still watching obviously you guys care enough to um, perhaps consider the unbranded one because it is cheaper. Um, so after unboxing it I could tell that it was the FRP plastic. It wasn't, um, some people have been getting like the carbon fiber one instead um, but I got the FRP plastic one and, um, and so the first thing that I did was start to wrap it um, this is probably the most complex object that I've ever had to wrap and originally I was going to wrap the top and bottom of it um, but eventually I just ended up wrapping the top and the sides so that it looks um, pretty good but if you look like underneath the spoiler it's still black luckily it's black and not like some other uh, plastic color um, so that worked out really well um, next thing that I had to do well after I wrapped it my wife came home so I could finally install it I put it on the trunk and um, it actually didn't fit so as you can see from these pictures, the fitment quality is terrible. Um, there, it just wasn't fitting at all. Um, however, I decided not to give up and I started um, taking uh, like, a, like a cutting disc to it and trying to make it fit. After a long, long couple of hours, unfortunately it still looked like it wasn't going to fit. But um, I eventually gave up on the project. I put it inside the garage. I slept on it and woke up in the morning and thought, hey, maybe you know I could actually make this still work out. So this morning what I did was I, um, I finished the project by um, doing a little bit more cutting, a little bit more measuring, and eventually I went out to Walmart, got me some um, 3M, the double-sided uh, mounting tape, uh, and basically mounted it on. So for those of you who are wondering about fitment, um, the fitment I would say right now is not as good as an Odinger, obviously, because it isn't one. Um, however, as you can see here, um, you can see that this part sits higher than the actual um, the roof of the car and that's I think simply because this part is thicker than it otherwise would have been with the Odinger spoiler. Um, another thing that I did was that I wrapped the blue part on the inside here because or else you would see like the blue hair and it looked really terrible but as you can see here it's black 
and so it kind of blends in a lot better than it would have otherwise. Um, other than that, I took off a little bit too much over here, so there's a little gap right here, um, but it's not too worrisome. Uh, same thing on the other side, you can see right here, it's, this part sticks up a little bit higher, and then you can also see that um, there's uh, like black uh, vinyl here instead of the blue, so it all kind of blends in, makes it look a little bit better. So overall, I really do like the look of this spoiler. Do I regret getting this? Um, a little bit because of all the time that I had to take in order to make it fit. However, I don't actually regret the final product. If I told you guys how much I actually paid for this, you guys might consider doing this yourself too. However, you would definitely have to have some tools around in order to do a little bit of fitment. Um, so what I would do is probably buy the spoiler. Before I would wrap it, I would probably you know, trim, fit it, make sure everything fits. Don't rush like I did to put the vinyl wrap on. Um, and basically, you'll be able to fit it just like I did. Um, for the people who are just kind of looking at it from eye level instead of looking it up close like this it'll probably look great um, as you can see it really really fits the body style and I really wish Volkswagen you know came out with an OEM option that looked like this because I think it looks great um, compared to just the regular basically no spoiler um, a very small lip spoiler that comes on all the GTIs as well um, so um, Basically, for those of you who are wondering, I paid under $100 for this uh, spoiler. So if you guys weren't considering it before, perhaps you'll consider it now um, to spend less than $100 on a spoiler that would have otherwise spent uh, been, been around six or $700. Um, so if you guys have any questions about how to do this project, um, just let me know in the comments below. Um, overall, like I said, I think it looks great. It really gives a meaner look to the car. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.